Okay, so we've got our central image of our artist, which has been cut out very roughly, which is why it's got this edge, this very glowing edge on the artist. That might be an effect that you actually want. Um, for, for this particular example, it kind of works. We've put the color background down. All we need to do now is put a font in place and the record label logo. Um, so, if you go to the dldmediastudies.wordpress.com website you, and you click on the print production resources, because you're creating a print product, you want to click on this document that says fonts. Um, and then if we open that up, you'll see that we've got a, a section here for the font that we want to use, and then we've got to explain why you've chosen it. Now, a good place to find font is at thefont.com. Oh, there we go. Um, and I want a nice sans serif font. I'm going to choose this one. So if I click on download, <coughs> then you click on the downloads folder, you've got the font in there. And then you want to click on the TTF file. So double click on that. It will bring up the font and then you click on install font. Um, and if you tick on that and install check, I've already installed this, so I don't want to install it again. There's a different file for bold and a different one for thin. So that just gives you two options when you go into Photoshop. So we want to create a new layer, just clicking on this button here. Click on the text object and then if we click and drag, create a nice big text box for us. And, and then we want to click on the name of the font here. And then we just want to change the size of that, make it a bit bigger. Now obviously it's the same colour as the background at the minute, so if I just highlight that, I'm going to change it to just an off-white colour. Um, I'm going to make that just a little bit bigger. There we go. Um, it doesn't stand out too perfectly at the moment. So I'm going to add a couple of things to this. I'm going to highlight the text and I'm going to go, to, sorry I don't need to do that, I just need to highlight the layer. And I'm going to go to, um, in fact if you click on FX, and we go to um, Drop Shadow. I want it to be a bit more subtle than that. I'm just going to bring down the opacity um, and then press OK. So we've got the central image and the name of the artist or the album, whatever you want it to be. I can change the space on it. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm actually going to change the spacing on the text. So if I highlight that and then I go here, I can then start to just increase the spaces too much, the spaces between the letters. And I'm just going to move that down so slightly. So all we want to do now is put the uh, company logo on. Um, so we want to Google the record label that she is part of. And if we go RCA Records, that's the label that Miley Cyrus is signed to. If you click on Images, then we get a lot of uh, record labels. But we actually want to select PNG, which means it's transparent. So it'll blend in better. It won't have a background color that we'll need to cut out or anything. So if I hit RCA Records PNG, just wait for the images to load. We take this first one, view image, and if I control save image as, um, I'll just save it to the desktop. Go back into Photoshop and obviously create a new layer. Then go to File, Place, find the RCA records, nice transparent. Click on Shift so we don't change the properties of the image, just to decrease the size. And then if we move it up here, it's still a little bit too big. So Command T to transform. And there we have it. Our CD cover is complete.